Hi, and welcome. I'm Susan Burrell, and I have been doing these Facebook Live guided meditations that I'm calling Journey to Love. We will be doing them until April 10th every day, every day. Uh, somebody today said, oh, I think I thought you were just doing them on Fridays. No, every day. Uh, trying to develop a spiritual practice for, well, for myself, but for everyone. So I'm deeply grateful for everybody who is joining and or watching afterwards because I'm saving this to my Facebook page, which is facebook.com backslash Susan Burrell page. There you have it. So, um, in thinking and contemplating about what today should be about or would be about, I was guided. Uh, I'm, when I sit and listen, it's just amazing. I think everybody, if you find, if you just sit and listen, the guidance that you receive, the wisdom from within you, is always so much more spectacular than what my little pea brain could come up with. So, I was looking at some uh, readings and uh, quotes and things like that uh, for uh, a different thing for one of my podcasts and I found this one this is from Michael Singer the surrender experiment I'm gonna put my glasses on for a minute so I can read it so just sit back and and enjoy Michael says life rarely unfolds exactly as we want it to and if we stop and think about it, that makes perfect sense. The scope of life is universal, and the fact that we are not actually in control of life's events should be self-evident. The universe has been around for 13.8 billion years, and the processes that determine the flow of life around us did not begin when we were born, nor will they end when we die. What manifests in front of us at any given moment is actually something truly extraordinary. It is the result of all the forces that have been interacting together for billions of years. We are not responsible for the tiniest fraction of what is manifesting around us. Nonetheless, we walk around constantly trying to control and determine what will happen in our lives. No wonder there's so much tension, anxiety, and fear. Each of us actually believes that things should be the way we want them, instead of being the natural result of all the forces of creation. Doesn't that feel right? Doesn't that feel true? Thank you, Michael Singer. Really, really, he's got great stuff. The Untethered Soul, if you're looking for a book to read, The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer is an absolute game changer, life changer, transformational changer. So um, in contemplating what I was uh, going to lead us into tonight, um, I was sitting and realized that... Um, we're actually going to go to the sacred altar within our soul. Yeah. So that's the title of this meditation. The sacred altar within your soul. Okay, so just sit back. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. And taking another breath into the heart center where love resides within you all the time. And just breathing that love, activating that love, feeling that love radiate into all the cells of your body. And just softening the mind, letting go of whatever today brought about for you. And focus on the love within you. Breathing it in and exhaling. And breathing it in and exhaling. And now in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine 
whatever your altar looks like. Maybe you have one really already activated in your home. Maybe there's a special place where you sit and do contemplative reading or meditate. I have an altar in my home. And it doesn't have to be a de denominational in relationship to any religion altar. This is just a place for you. So within your mind's eye, picture what that would look like. Notice the surroundings. Notice the feeling you have when you approach your altar. And notice what's on top of it. I have candles and crystals and flowers. What do you have? And just begin to imagine what that is. Your sacred altar. And if you do have a candle, now's the time to light it on your sacred altar. And then take a seat in front of your altar and allow yourself to become present within your body, your mental body, your emotional body, your physical body, your spiritual body. So that all of these bodies are awakened and aligned as you sit in front of your sacred altar. And now we're going to begin a mantra that I've used many times. I find it's very powerful. So I want you to repeat to yourself or out loud, whatever feels comfortable, this mantra. I surrender to the power and presence of love within me. I surrender to the power and presence of love within me. I surrender to the power and presence of love within me. Taking a deep breath in, dropping a little deeper, noticing how you feel. Again, repeating, I surrender to the power and presence of love within me. I surrender to the power and presence of love. I surrender to the power and presence. I surrender to the power. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. And taking a very deep breath, allow yourself to just sit open hearted, open handed, open minded in that state of surrender.
and then taking another breath, going even deeper. I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. Surrendering thoughts, surrendering control, surrendering emotions that no longer serve you. I surrender. And then taking another deep breath. I surrender. I surrender to the power. I surrender to the power and the presence. I surrender to the power and presence of love. I surrender to the power and presence of love within me. I surrender to the power and presence of love within me. I surrender to the power and presence of love within me. Taking another deep breath just feeling that surrender, that power, that presence of love within. And then becoming present to your altar, the altar of your soul. This is an altar you can go to anytime. This is a mantra you can use anytime. And if you've lit, lit a candle on your altar, now's the time to extinguish it. And now's the time to gently leave your altar, the altar of your soul, and coming back to the room you're in, the chair you're sitting in, and taking a deep breath, just open your eyes, surrendering to the power and presence of love within you. Thank you for joining me tonight. This is going to be on my Facebook page. 
and archived there. So if you want to return to it and re-listen or share with friends, um, feel free to do so. And please, please um, like it, follow, so you follow the Facebook page so you get an alert, and share it with whomever you feel is in need or would enjoy these moments of falling into love and journeying to love within. I'm just going to end with, and so it is, namaste.